Oh, look, we took our opportunities pretty well. I don't, I don't know what the possession stats were like, but um, we were, uh, we certainly made the most of our opportunities. Yeah, look, I, I, I just think um, we've probably got to work uh, harder, a bit harder off the ball. Um, you know, we certainly uh, made some ground up the middle, uh, but then we uh, kind of let it slide and Brothers got a couple of cheap turnovers there when we just got on a roll. So, you know, I'd like to see us work a bit harder off the ball to realign. Oh, they both play a very controlled sort of game. They don't give you any uh, uh, too many free kicks or, or opportunities. They, um, they play field position, they defend very well, they contested the breakdown very well. Um, and you've just got to take your opportunities when you get them. Yeah, well, it makes, makes, should make decisions easier when you get, uh, you get penalties in front. Although I noticed at the end there we decided, decided to take a scrum instead of uh, the three points, which would have iced the game for us. But uh, anyway, yeah. Yeah, look, I've been happy with uh, Dave since he's been back. It's obviously, um, uh, it was difficult for him the first couple of weeks, just, uh, you know, with uh, two knee reconstructions in, the right, in a row, but look, he's just been getting better and better. Look, obviously we made a lot of mistakes. You know, that was, uh, it's pretty hard to, to win a game when you're making that many mistakes. And a lot of times we, we were building pressure and we just relieved it by, you know, just giving them ball, easy ball or, or you know, just crucial areas. So. Um, you know, that was, it was a good effort. You, you're going to always struggle to win games with that many mistakes. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, the challenge for us this week was we, we, we're on the back of three heavy defeats. So, you know, the challenge was to be up for the game and, and come back from that, which was never going to be easy. And we stuck in there and we knew if, if we were close, you know, keep us in the game, that we'd always challenge their defence. And we did. And, Unfortunately, as I said before, you know, we just turned it over at crucial times. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, when you're outside a professional environment where you can recruit to, um, you know, to cover each position, you know, a club footy and school footy, it's, it's just hard to do that. And, you know, when you're losing three or four players mid-season, it's, it's very hard, you know, to cop. And um, unless you're recruiting, it's, it's quite um, active in the pre-season. And it's always going to be hard to cover, but you know, at the same time, we had some players step up and you know do a fantastic job. And you know, obviously today was disappointing, but you know, it was, it was a good season. Yeah, well, Bondy's you know he's a class player, and I suppose the, the thinking was to get him more one-on-one -on -one situations. Uh, you know, his, his biggest strength is ball in hand, and and uh, you know, attacking one-on-ones and. Moving into fullback, I suppose, would, would give him that opportunity. And also coming back from injury, uh, you know, we we sort of went with a partnership we've had over the, the previous few weeks. And you know, he did a great job. He was blowing at times, but you know, he, he obviously scored a, a great try. And you know, every time he touched the ball, he's always going to be dangerous, and he was today. Uh, you know, obviously, Uni a very good side. Um, so are East and Jeeps, but if I had, yeah, I'd probably go with Jeeps. You know, I think they've got uh, strength right across the team and, and a few sort of X-Factor players. You know, Sean McMahon is, is just coming back now. He's, he's a sensational young talent. Um, you know, I've tipped him to be one of the best in the world in the future. Uh, you know, Sami Karevi in the back line. You know, you, every time he touches the ball, he's typical to, uh, similar to Bondi. You know, just anything can happen. And, you know, I just think they've, they've got it covered 1-15 to 15 and will be hard to beat.